Hey guys, it's me, John Brown, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Stam Audio SA73 DI and Pre Amplifier. This Stam Audio piece is a direct replica of the Neve 1073 MPA Pre Amplifier. The 1073 is still considered one of the hottest preamplifiers in the world for recording today. The 1073 preamp is renowned for its warmth and huge sound, and it's been used on multi million selling records for decades. For today's example, I'm going to be using it as a bass DI. I'm going to be comparing it directly with my Zoom UAC interface DI and see how both compare. So looking at the Stam Audio website, the unit can come with two options. It can have either Carnhill input and output transformers or Souter output transformer. The unit I have has the Souter transformer which is considered closer to the original 1073 sound than the Carnhills, whereas the Carnhill is a little bit more modern and more focused. So referring back to the website, classic British sound breakthrough price. Both of these I completely agree with. It has the classic 1073 Neve sound that is so sought after and it's crazy cheap, absolutely mind bogglingly cheap. You can pick up one with the Carnhill Transformers for $449 and you can pick up one with the Souter Transformer for $499. On the front panel, you have a DI input you have a 48 volt switch, you have a polarity switch, and a high Z switch, along with the on off button. The two knobs control the input gain and then the trim. On the back of the SA73, you have an XLR input, an XLR and a balance jack output, the ability to connect an external ground, as well as the power input. The power on this SA73 is external and it comes with its own dedicated power source which will be capable of either 115 volts or 230 volts, depending on where you are in the world. All the Stam Audio gear is handmade in Chile. Obviously, a couple of us in the Western world would be skeptical of the quality of gear that's made in a place that we might not know very much about. I'd like to show you the internal guts of the SA73 to show you that the quality is magnificent. Don't let the cheap price of these units deceive you. For $500 you are getting an awful lot for your money. So how does it sound on bass as a DI? Here are a couple of playthroughs. You're going to hear the bass sound of the Stam Audio DI. You're going to hear the bass sound of my Zoom UAC8 DI. You're also going to hear both of these sounds affected with how I affect them in the mix. Both channels begin the chain with an L1 limiter on to bring the volume up of the bass. I then put it through the Ampeg SVX Amplitude plugin. And then I finish off the chain with a DBX 160 compressor. EQ wise, there's a little dip in the lower mids around 300 to 400, and there's another dip between 1K and 2K. So here is the two bass tracks. Listen, let me know what you think, and I'll let you know my opinion at the end.
I really like the Stam Audio SA73. I find that compared to my Zoom UAC8DI, the sound is more focused, especially in the bottom end and the lower mids. It sounds like the signal is coming from one point in the sonic void, rather than being absolutely everywhere and taking over all of the space. It's focused, it sounds big, and it sounds awesome. Please check out the Stam Audio website, it's in the description of this video. Now I have two Stam Audio products that I think sound absolutely incredible and are a great value for money. I have the SA73 and I also have the SA4000 which is based off the SSL G series console compressor. Both units are awesome. I've already done a review on the SA4000 compressor. You can hear it on bass guitar, you can hear it on drums and you can hear it on the whole mix. There'll be a link in the description of this video so you can check out that video as well if you've not heard it. Please subscribe to my channel for more gear reviews and testing. My name is John Brown. Have a good day.